Can you bring me mine? Where am I? It was two in the bag. Make sure yours, because it's two in there. Mine got lettuce and stuff on it. All right, what's up, you guys? Back with another haul. I said another. <laughs> another haul. So, um, I finally took the leap and went out. I'm do. I'm don't do it. I finally took the leap and went out to a further Dollar Tree and Goodwill. So I drove up Delaware this morning. I left the house at 9 a.m. so I could get there when they first opened, which is 10 a.m. And I got there at like 10:10. 10, 10. Um, so I, I'm gonna speak about the Goodwill first. The Goodwill. The, and sorry, you guys, if you hear the kids in the background, I do have five children. If you're new to the channel, and they're kids, okay? I can't stop that noise. I could just try to talk louder. So. As far as the Goodwill, it was okay. It did have a lot of um, clothes. It was like one of those Goodwills with a lot of clothes. But it wasn't like amazing. I mean, I probably could have got the same stuff that I got there at my other Goodwill. And then, but the Dollar Tree I went to, y'all, first of all, hey, I'm going to send you upstairs. First of all, we got, what? Hey. Taking thumbnails. We got paper bags. What Dollar Tree? I've never been to a Dollar Tree that can paper bags. None of my hood Dollar Trees got paper bags, y'all. I'm going to be eating and stuff and talking to y'all and drinking because this is just not your Orthodox family, nor is it your Orthodox channel. New to the channel. Hi. This is Kimmy in all her glory, and I'm about to throw down real quick. Yeah, so I only have 32 minutes left on this extra card. Listen, Aaliyah, y'all go upstairs and eat y'all donuts so I finish my video. Please. Okay, yeah. Roddy, go upstairs and eat the donut. Okay. Alright, y'all. So, yeah, the, the Dollar Tree I went to, they were, first of all, the Dollar Tree was massive. It was huge. And I found so many good things. So, I'm going to start off with Goodwill. So, first and foremost, this I got off of Facebook Marketplace. I got it for $10. It is a tear tray. And it has a diamond at the top. And it's brown. We're going to turn it down just a little bit more. Um, I plan on painting it because it, this color does not go with the decor scheme that I'm trying to pull off and the knob doesn't either so I might try to replace the knob or take the knob off but as far as the tray it's cute it's heavy and I like it so I got that it's, and it's metal also from Goodwill I found this planter <clears throat> and it is from I would love to tell y'all what store it's from it looks like it says TJ Maxx on it or Marshalls maybe Marshalls but um, I feel like it's from the brand Ray Dunn because of the colors, but it was $6.99. It has a little bunny on it with his carrot. I like this because it doesn't necessarily have to be Easter for me to put it out because of the gray and white tones. It can be for all spring. And he has a little ribbon. I can also change the ribbon out if I wanted to. And I just love it. It's so cute. And yeah, I got this for $6.99. The next thing I found at the Goodwill was this vase. And it was $2.99 and I got this because I really like the, the shape at the bottom. And if you guys seen my last haul, I had found a wood round. So I've been trying to find vases that fit that wood round so I could put it on top. I'm not sure if this will fit or not, but um, yeah. Next, I picked up this bowl. Um, um, it says, I don't know what that says. Oh, K Hagberg Design. I'm going to Google that. If I find out any information, it'll be right here on the screen. But this was $3.99, y'all. And for how big it is and the um, the weight of it, I feel like that's a good price. $4 for a bowl. Like, that's awesome. I don't know if I'm going to keep it like this or DIY it, but it's so cute. So, I got that. Next, I picked up this black bottle. And I'm pretty sure this is like a... Um, like a glass drinking bottle or something but it's black and it's really cool um and i don't know where it's from it doesn't have where it's from but it was 2.99 and of course i like the black i'm probably not going to do nothing to it but probably add some type of bow and put some floral in it <clears throat> excuse me y'all and yeah i got that i'm missing stuff oh no no Next, I picked up this big vase, y'all. This is huge, and this was $1.99, so yes, this is a steal. Out of everything that I got from Goodwill, I would say this was the biggest steal that I've got. Um, this is huge. Like, this is massive, you guys. All right, so next from Goodwill, I got two baskets. I don't know. I've been doing this, like, loving baskets thing, y'all, and this one was so bomb. It has the leather um handles on it and the color is just really cute i will not be painting this i'm feeling the color if i do paint it it'll be a color block and if you guys don't know what color block is it basically means one part is natural whatever natural color it is or 
it, it just means two colors basically or, or multiple colors that has like a line so um but the inside is really pretty it, it was just nice this is nicely done and all of their baskets at this goodwill was $2.99 comment down below how much your baskets are at your goodwill or how your pricing goes at your goodwill or, or do you find the pricing at your goodwill fair because i went to a goodwill yesterday that i did not appreciate they don't do the price tags anymore they just have groups which means wood metal glass things of that nature but the problem is you if you it, it can be bad and good you can get a glass for uh, so say all their glass is $3.99 um that's good if you found a big piece for $3.99 but when it comes to the smaller pieces it's very unfair because they're still charging $3.99 for like a smaller piece so I guess it's good and bad all right and secondly I picked up this basket um one that caught my eye was these um buttons right here i don't know if they're buttons or whatever they are but this caught my eye i like that detail it does have this little thing on it but it's attached by a ribbon so i could just take that off and this is my favorite basket out of the two it is pretty big you guys and i'm probably going to use this in my bathroom i like the color of it it doesn't need any real work to it again if i wanted to do something to it it'll probably be a color block but this is fine for me and i love this next i got this tray this tray was 3.99 and it is very ugly you guys you see that black snake print inside of it but luckily it comes off this whole tray is actually wood as you can see i did this in goodwill to make sure that it pull, pulls off i wanted to have some type of tray on my coffee table and i was looking for something that was big i mean this i would probably go bigger if i could find one but for now this will do um i'm gonna definitely diy this and make this really pretty yeah this this comes off and i'm so happy about that as you can see it's like a nice wood under there so yeah we're definitely going to diy this tray and for 3.99 it was a steal for me next you guys i was so excited about finding this now originally i had like a white one in my cart that felt like it was porcelain or ceramic um and it had a bunch of prints on it and i was willing to diy it but I didn't want to okay so um when i came up to the front i noticed this so i've been looking for one of these i think it's called the um oh god y'all comment down below what it's called it's like a name or something but it spins like it's like a oh god what is it called i'll have the name right here because i'll eventually figure it out but this was 6.99 it's massive for one um i'm not going to keep it this color i am going to give it a paint job and make sure that you know it's really cute when i put it up but 6.99 for these this itself i'll probably put a picture right here at a target or something like that it will be totally like <laughs> for uh god like 40 dollars at the most i think so yeah i feel like this was a still so i got that three packs i think three packs yeah three they had a bunch of like masks in on their end caps and goodwill um this one has five in it for 3.99 i got this for the boys they just have different prints and colors i got the three pack of trolls for Aaliyah, and then i got a three pack of gray ones for me and the girls so i got that all 3.99 and i also picked up this vase which is this blue i'm not changing this y'all i love this blue i'm gonna give it a good clean and it's just gonna stay the way it is this vase was 3.99 and then lastly i picked up a couple pair of jean shorts for Aaliyah. it is getting hot where we are don't you do it it is getting hot where we are so um it's time to start buying summer clothes so these are from old navy they are a size six i did get her six instead of a five right now she is in like a five but you know she's growing so these are really cute they have like the little torn patches on them um i got her these which are from zara zara kids and they're just like some cute little shorts they also have the torn patches on them these um i feel like these are like yeah walmart which i'm I mad i shouldn't have got these because these at walmart sometimes are like three dollars and these were no they were 249 all the bottoms were 249 so yeah i did come out better little tie-dye shorts and all of these are a size five except for the tie-dye shorts i think they're six and then i got these old navy ones that are size five and yeah they're just really cute short so 249 each i couldn't beat that i end up um spending ten dollars for four pair which is would never happen unless it's like a huge sale at a department store so that is everything i got from goodwill now it's time to move on to dollar tree <clears throat> okay so as i said 
this Dollar Tree was the best Dollar Tree I've ever been in in my whole life, okay? Um, I spent, firstly, in Goodwill, I spent $70. In Dollar Tree, I spent $76. So let's get right into it. They came in handy when I was organizing my pantry. So I got some more. These chalkboard clap it stickers. You get two in a pack. And you can, um, I like these because you can cut them into any shape or size that you need. And you can write on them with chalk or paint markers. So I also picked up these sticker stickers, these brown label stickers. I'm not sure what I'm using for. I just like the, how they look. Like, I, I don't know. I can use these for DIY or organization. You get 16 pieces. And then I also picked up this 18 piece chalkboard stickers and I had these before as well I love these because they're already in a nice cute little shape and I use these for almost anything to label next I found these stickers as well these are a 12 piece of flowers I thought these were really really pretty they say spring and summer to me so I got them not really sure what I would use them for yet but they're really cute I also found these 12 piece feathers you guys it's the first time I've ever seen these so I got them in silver and gold um, you can paint these. They don't have to stay silver and gold. I just thought they were really, really cute. And I've never seen them before. So, yeah. They are foil stickers. I mean, um, feathers. Oh, they're stickers. They're stickers. They're actually sticky, y'all. I didn't know that. All right. And next, I got this 12-piece stickers. And it's like the... I like the clock. So, I mean, the... um These kittens, y'all. I like the compass on it and the globe. I was trying to find the ones with the clocks, but I couldn't. But yeah, these are really cute and I got those as well. Now in the planter's aisle, I came across these baskets. I've never seen Dollar Tree. Mooka, can you please get them to, and tell them I'm, I'm blogging? I have never seen baskets in Dollar Tree, so I was really excited about these. So first I found these brown ones and they are 9 inches and 22.9 centimeters. Well, I guess it's they're 9 inches. And it has this really cute print on it and I mean, they're not uh, I mean you could they're not as hard as the baskets that I just showed you of course but they're really cute so I got two of those in hopes that I can use these in my bathroom or something and then I got two of these kind which are like the square kind and these are also nine inches and they're just a lighter color okay and then this is in no particular order I didn't get a chance to organize I literally came in and started to do this haul but then I picked up these I'm really loving Dollar Tree's wall art the pictures in their wall art is so nice and you could just change the frames out or you could keep the frames and DIY them or you could just keep them how they are but I came across this one and I love the shiplap in the back it says home sweet home and I feel like I showed you that something like this similar to this or the same one in another haul I also grabbed these two which are going to go in my office um, this one has some pink high heels on it and I'm loving it and this one as well I really like that vase and those flowers that makes it pop. <laughs> it's so cute. So I got those wire cutters y'all Dollar Tree This Dollar Tree had wire cutters. I've never seen wire cutters in Dollar Tree And they may not be the best, but we're gonna try them out Sometimes you get a hit and miss with Dollar Tree. We'll never know when I first came into the Dollar Tree You know how they have the stands. This was the first thing I seen and I wasn't gonna get it But I was like that's mad cute like so I got these potted lavender plants. These are new to me. I've never seen these before. And I got two of them. Um, I like it because I don't have to do nothing to it. I can literally just sit these out anywhere and it'll be really cute. Y'all, these I have been searching for for like months, okay? And I finally came across them. I was so happy. I found the garden dishes that... I found the garden dishes, you guys. The clear garden dishes. And I needed these for a DIY that I was like looking into. So I got four of them just in case I never come across them again. I might only needed two, but I got two extra ones just in case. Next in the sticker aisle, I said this is in no particular order. I love these wood cutouts that Dollar Tree has. And I grabbed three of them. I have the owl one, which I think I already have. I have the bird one, which is new to me. And I have the clocks, which I feel like I already have, but I like the clocks. So I grabbed them again. In the like candle area out, I found this, you guys, and honestly, I just need this part for a DIY project that I use. But if you wanted to display it in your house like this, I don't see why not. It's cute like this. Um, but yeah, I felt like you know this would be cute to, for a DIY that I was looking at. So they do have these. All right, now in the little like party section where they have all the clear acrylic um, bowls and things of that nature, I found these bowls, and I've never seen these before in Dollar Tree. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but the way that this bowl is shaped, oh my god, like it's so chic. 
So I plan on doing a DIY with these. These are just so freaking cute. I don't know how, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these, but I got two of them. And then next I came across, um, I've been looking for this for a minute just so I can try it. Dollar Tree now has an aroma diffuser and it's battery operated and it's portable and you don't have to use water for it. I do have one uh, 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 a diffuser in my house that you don't have to use water for. It sucks, so this probably sucks too. But we're gonna see, we're gonna try. And then I also grabbed um, this palette knife set for my craft stash. And yeah, I got those. I got this base, which I've never seen in Dollar Tree before. It has the ruffled top and I just thought it was so cute. I don't have a lot of short bases, so I decided to grab it. I found this big wreath ring. It has love on it and it has like that infinity circle thingamajigger. Yes, I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but I had to get it. This is the biggest piece I think I've ever seen in Dollar Tree as far as crafting, y'all. Okay, so next I had grabbed this doggy bowl and I wasn't gonna get it at first because there's so many things that I could put Oreo snacks in, but this is just so cute and I liked it. Grab these suave hand cleaning wipes for my car. Um, I do keep hand sanitizer in my car, but I thought this was just cool because when we take the kids to the park and stuff like that and their hands get dirty, they're able to wipe them off and they really clean. Plus it's by Suave, so that really threw me off. I've never seen these in Dollar Tree. Right, and then, oh, sorry, I got this from Goodwill as well. It was 99 cents, just a little basket. I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with this. I thought about, like, putting cookies on it or something, but snacks don't last long in my house when they're put out. You know, I got pets and kids. It just doesn't happen. Now, this is new. Dollar Tree now has these fly swatters and they have I don't know what the purpose of this is like I really bought this to show you I think this is more so for decor purposes because I don't see why you would just kill your flies and just have nastiness on here and oh it's a flower on it I don't get this but hey if you like stuff like that here it go they got it two of their floating shelves you guys I've been on the hunt for these and I finally found them some of you are doing a DIY with these um they will not be placed they, they're too small to like be in the house like on the wall they will literally just like you wouldn't even see them but they they say hold up to five pounds it, it includes the screws and the wall anchors so yeah next you guys i don't know who this is this rosina pancino person but y'all was Rosanna Pantino person. Y'all know that I have a bunch of her cookie cutters. And now they have these at Dollar Tree, which is the half aprons. And I don't know why she's selling out of Dollar Tree, but girlfriend, keep it coming. What else you got next? So I grabbed two of these. Um, not sure if I'm gonna like keep one and give one away. You know I buy stuff for my mom and grandma. Um, but neither one of them are real big cookers, so I don't know. But I got two of them just in case. It was new to me. I've been on the hunt for this as well. Dollar Tree has these little gold ring wreaths. And it's cute the way it is, but I would probably DIY it or put something to it. I don't see who would put this in their house just like this. But if you do, okay, whatever. It's 8 inches by 8 inches. And it's real cute. It says welcome in the middle. Yeah. So Dollar Tree now has these, which I thought were really cool. I know how to crochet, you guys, and I know how to knit, so I was excited about these. But they now have the three rolls of yarn. You get three different colors. The pink has, like, red, dark pink, and light pink, and the blue has blue, teal, and turquoise, I want to say. But you get three little small rolls. I also picked up, y'all know that I'm about to start planting stuff, planting shit, you know what I'm saying? About to be a planter out here in the street. So I picked up these. I've never seen these before. So they have bulbs instead of seeds. It says Tegregia. I think I'm saying that right. Um, I have Ranunculus, Gladilius, and Gladilius. I don't know these. Whatever. I got those. All right, and then I also got these magnetic clips. They are so cute. They say you're a magical unicorn mold and one of a kind. These can go in my refrigerator for when my kids do artwork and stuff. What I do is when they do stuff during the week, whatever they hand me that they have drawn, I'll put it on the fridge and then weekly I'll take it down. Depending on what they've drawn, I'll keep it or throw it out because <laughs> I just can't keep everybody's artwork. But I, it comes with six clips and it's really cute, so I got that. And I also got a crochet needle because I don't have one of these, so I got that. And then Dollar Tree now has these, um, one, two, three, four, five, hexagonal planners. And this one is white and gold. Now, I have watched some Dollar Tree hauls where they have the black with the white on top. I would love to find those. But these are cute just how they are. You do not have to DIY these. If you wanted to, you could. But I like them just, just like this. They're, like, so chic to me. So I got that. 
And then in my last bag, you guys, I grabbed some greenery from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is coming out with some nice colored greenery. Instead of that real plasticky looking green, they now have these, which are similar to the eucalyptus plants. The smaller ones are, I don't know if they're called eucalyptus, but these are the, these are really pretty. Like they're not that plasticky bright green that they usually have. So I got one of those. I then grabbed two of these foliages, which I really like. I really, really like these, like really like them. I grabbed two, they're all called foliages actually. Two of these, these kind, I don't know if you can see that in my camera. And then I got two of these kind, which are probably my favorite. So yeah, I got six of those all together. I don't know what I thought. I might be tripping. Is Westcott a like a brand a name brand? I feel like it's a name brand, but they now have West Westcott uh ah, Westcott scissors. Say that three times fast. So I got some small little glitter blue ones. And it says durable stainless steel blades, lightweight, comfortable design, perfect for school and office use. This is a medium. And this one is an eight inch and it says bent. I don't know what that means. Eight inch bent. Okay, it might be eight inch. I don't know. Durable stainless steel, and it says a five year warranty. Like they're supposed to last you five years. But I got two of those. I also grabbed the LED project projector light. I wanted to try this. Um, supposedly, you at night in your kids' room, you put it on the floor and it projects like whatever is up here on the ceiling. And I have like the fishies. And yeah, so I got that. Hopefully, that worked. Oh, here goes that second. I knew I had more greenery. I got some cat food for the kittens. I grabbed two of these milks for the kittens because we're currently giving them the milk that we drink and it's just expensive, okay? So Dollar Tree had these, so I was like, oh, the cats can drink this, okay? Until they get to the to the, the big stuff. So yeah, I got two of those. And last, I picked up this um, wide angle smartphone lens. I'm just gonna try it. It was a dollar, why not? Let's try it. Um, I'm pretty sure it does not work, but if it does, cause sometimes you get Dollar Tree stuff and it does work and you're like, what? So yeah, I got that. So that is all I got. It's not a lot. It's not huge like my other hauls would usually be. Let me put this stuff in. So yeah, you guys, make sure you guys like this video if you want to, if you want to see more hauls from me. Um, also... Y'all know I have the shopping addiction. So if you want to see different stores, if y'all tired of or burnt out of Goodwill or Dollar Tree, I will do different stores. We could do TJ Maxx, we could do Ross, we could do Marshalls. Let me know, okay? I will put a budget aside to go shopping at those stores. Um, and I will also keep up on their sale dates so I can get more for my buck and we can do like a discount type of haul. Let me know what you guys want to see. I know I've been coming over here, crazy looking hats and all of that, but this is my mom. Stop. This is my mom's scheme on the weekdays when I ain't got nowhere to be, which is mostly all day, every day of my life. T-shirt, tights, and a, sh and a hat, okay? I don't, I very seldom get dressed, and I do not like clothes. So, yeah, you guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. And if you are subscribed, make sure that you go to that subscribe button. Stop! And press that down arrow to make sure that you are being notified for all notifications. Um... And yeah, if you're new to the channel, my name is Kimberly. I'm a mother of five, you guys. And we do the damn thing over here, okay? And stay a while. Press subscribe. I want to get to know you. Comment. What's your name? How you doing? Where you from? All right? So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I love you guys. And you already know what it is. It's Ali Gang. And I'm out. Peace.